Hey friends, I hope everyone's doing good, staying healthy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I do have a special recipe for you guys today. We are gonna be making tacos de papas. If you guys are interested in seeing how I create this dish, stay tuned, watch, and let me show you. All right, you guys, for our ingredients today, mozzarella cheese, one pound russet potatoes, tortillas, sazon, goya, seasoning, oil for frying, salt. All right, you guys, for the ingredients for the salsa, lemon juice, onion, jalapenos, green tomatillos or green tomatoes, avocado, garlic, cilantro, and salt. So guys, these are my ingredients and let's get started. All right, you guys, first things first, we do need to wash our potatoes and peel them, okay? So right now I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the sink with the potatoes and water and really scrub them down. All right, you guys, now we're done washing these. Now I'm gonna grab my peeler and start peeling all these potatoes, okay? We want no skin left behind on these, all right? All right, you guys, now that our potatoes are nice and clean, and peeled, we're gonna start dicing them up into quarters just like we would mashed potatoes, okay? All right, you guys, now that we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and take this over to a hot pot of boiling water, and then we'll go from the next step there. All right, you guys, to our boiling water, we are going to add in all of our potatoes, okay? Go slow so that the water doesn't splash up at you because it is hot. If you need to add more water, add more water, but we wanna make sure that the water coats the entire top of the potatoes. We want them all submerged, okay? Do not worry about salting the water right now. We're gonna do that after, okay? So just go ahead and put them in just a plain pot of boiling water. Okay. All right, you guys, if you are not doing the salsa recipe, you guys can stop here. I want you guys to boil these down until they are just right, okay? You wanna be able to mash these with a fork nice and tender okay if you are making the salsa recipe to go on top of this you're going to be adding in about a quarter of an onion and two jalapenos okay do not leave these in here for too long once it softens up we'll pop those out okay all right, you guys, our potatoes have been boiling for about 20 minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the jalapeno and the onion and then continue with the salsa. All right, you guys, to our salsa, we are going to be putting in our tamatillos. Make sure you guys have washed these, okay? I'm gonna be adding in five. 
These are on the smaller side. If you find the bigger ones, you guys can take it down to three, okay? I'm gonna take our jalapenos. We have two. Ooh, they're hot. Be careful. We are going to go ahead and throw in our onion. Okay. And also our one clove of garlic. All right, you also wanna pour in about a cup of the boiled water that we used for the potatoes, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and blend this up first and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. a handful of cilantro okay. and one half of an avocado actually a full avocado I'm sorry All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and blend this. All right, so now you guys will be tasting it. This is where you guys are gonna be starting to add in your salt. I'm gonna go ahead and put, put in about tablespoon and a half to start and also the juice from two small lemons usually you guys I would be using um, limes for this but I ran out but it's okay because you guys can use lemons okay make sure you guys don't get any seeds in there all right you guys it's perfect okay I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side until we're done with our tacos. All right, you guys, our potatoes look like they're done. I'm gonna put a fork in them. Yep, perfect. So the fork's coming out very softly out of the potato. So they're done. So now we're gonna go ahead and drain the water out of the potatoes and start mashing. All right, you guys, in the same pot, we are gonna go ahead and mash the potatoes. I would be using a a handheld mixer for this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, this is the quickest way to do it. Optional, you don't need to you can use a fork. I just like to have it really smooth consistency with this. And then we're gonna start seasoning it after, okay? <music> Now we're gonna go ahead and put in about a cup and a half of our mozzarella cheese. Okay. And we're gonna stir again. So now it should have the consistency of mashed potatoes, okay? As you guys can see. We're gonna go ahead and add in one packet of our Goyo seasoning. About one tablespoon of salt. We're gonna mix this up and see how it tastes, okay? All right, you guys, go ahead and taste your potato mixture and see if you wanna add any more flavor or any more salt to this.
All right, you guys, I think I wanna add in one more packet of the Goya seasoning. And we're gonna mix again. All right, so we're gonna taste again. I'm gonna be adding in another tablespoon of salt. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up again. Make sure you guys are getting all the corners of your bowl. Again, I'm gonna taste it. Okay, so now we're perfect, we're ready to go. And now I'm gonna go and show you guys how to heat up your tortillas so that we can go ahead and make our tacos. All right, you guys, what I have here is a pan full of oil. Um, not that much, I would say it's probably about that high with oil. We really don't want them to be just drenched in oil when we're cooking them. We just want a nice layer to really get these golden and crispy. But before we do that, we have to go ahead and warm our tortillas through. Otherwise, we're gonna have problems when we're trying to roll them, okay? So right now, we're literally just putting our tortillas into the hot oil for just a second, okay? We're really not trying to cook them, we're just warming them through, okay? Just so that they're pliable, all right? And then I'm gonna put it on the plate. I have my workstation set up now. Now we can start rolling our tacos, okay? Um, a lot of you will find that you see tacos de papas, they are either rolled in half, like a regular taco like that, or you can roll them up like a taquito, okay? I think today I will be rolling them up like a taquito, okay? Or flata, whatever you guys wanna call them. Just putting a nice, amount into my taco okay and i am going to be rolling because now they are nice soft and pliable okay and as you can see there's plenty in here all right it's a nice thick size and i'm going to continue rolling until we're done We have our tacos ready to go into our hot oil. We do have a uh, pan over here that I have paper towels in. Just so when we're done, I can place it there. Now when you're putting this down, make sure you guys are putting the taco on the seam down, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna open up and you guys are gonna get a lot of potato everywhere. If you guys are having any issues, use a toothpick right underneath it and it's going to help to keep your taco with without opening okay Go ahead and flip them over. All right. There we go. All right. 
right. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up. Just about done, you guys. This one's just about done as well. And I do have the heat on medium, okay? Now I'm going to continue until all the tacos have been fried, okay? tacos are done they're nice golden and crispy they look delicious I'm gonna go ahead and plate a couple and show you guys how I like to eat this okay I have some shredded green lettuce I'm just gonna put a little on the top all right I have some onion just a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and grab some crema. You guys know I like my, my crema. Okay. I'm gonna grab some of that salsa that I made earlier. The aguacate salsa. Mm-mm. -mm. Okay. And then I have a little bit of cotija cheese. I'm gonna take some of that and sprinkle that on top. And that's it, you guys. Tacos de papas, okay? All right, now for the taste test. All right, you guys. It is hot, I am sweaty, but I'm hungry, okay? So let's go ahead and taste test our tacos. Mmm. You guys have to make that salsa, okay? You have to. The salsa just so so good with the fried tortilla. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is delicious, you guys. I will link the recipe below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Turn on your notifications. And I look forward to sharing with you guys some more future recipes, okay? Have a good day, guys.